this is a prime example of the fact that you don't need <laughs> synchronised drifting. <laughs> That's the quickest I've ever been through Crane of Curves. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Welcome to Donington Park today, although a very misty and foggy Donington Park. Still uncertain whether the track is even open. I mean, we're halfway through the day and as you can hear, there's nothing going on. However, we are joined today with a car I've wanted to film for a very long time. This is not only just a track car, it's a proper race car. This car has been taken off the road completely um, and yeah, turned into a proper race car. Um, it has raced and we'll actually go into more detail about what it's done uh, in a moment. But yeah, I mean, the thing is absolutely wild. Proper car to experience, full cage. It's actually got an OGM2 engine in it, obviously very similar N55 to the original N55. Uh, but yeah, there's tons to go through. We'll catch up with Jack, have a walk around and then fingers crossed, hopefully head out on track. Okay, we're joined now with Jack, the owner of this car. Mate, we've been trying to film this car for years, actually. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah the last couple of years. Yeah. It's, it's proved a little bit problematic at times, but yeah. it's nice to finally be here in Absolutely. what is um, a very sunny dodge yeah. right now. Yeah, Fingers it's... crossed it lifts and we can go yeah. and enjoy some laps Absolutely, together. absolutely, yeah. Definitely not ideal, but full focus on the car, at least for now. It is a full race car, isn't it, it really? Yeah, it, it is a race car. It has been raced by myself. Mm -hmm. It might only be one race, but I'm quite proud of that. One race is one race. One race, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it, did, it did make it to the end. Yeah. Uh, it actually qualified P3 in class wow. for that race, so Mega. it wasn't as slow as I expected to be. Yeah. Uh, but a lot has sort of happened since I started that mm. somewhat racing career. Yeah. Um, so obviously we started the engine bay, Mm -hmm. And the main thing is, the engine isn't a standard one series engine anymore. What happened was I spun a bearing on a test day up at Croft mm -hmm. um, for my second race, which is a bit of a shame. Ummed and awed of what I was going to do with the car. It sat there for about a year, uh, a little bit downtrodden with it. And then I thought, you know what, let's get an M2 N55 in it. The main reason for that is it's got the S55 oil system in from factory. Mm -hmm. uh, and anyone who knows these cars as a standard N55, they have no baffling in the sump whatsoever. Mm -hmm. yeah. A few mates came along, uh, helped me fit it in a day, and that was uh, yeah a really yeah. great feeling. Starting that, yeah. pressing that button, and it came to life. And yeah, absolutely. Was able to get the car back out there. Mm. Um, and a few other little bits and pieces on inside the engine bay. Yeah. The newest addition are these very shiny, very yeah. orange, <laughs> motor on two ways. Uh, previously, I had KWs. Mm -hmm. um, I, it was just, they were getting a bit tired. It was yeah. time to change them. Yeah. Um, We've run an M4 race car with German Auto Works and that had Motons on it and it was fantastic, like yeah. unreal. Mm. Uh, and I basically took what we'd learned from that car and put it into this car. Mm -hmm. So whether I do many laps today, I'm unsure because I've had to change the spring rates. Okay. It's yeah. on Monday, mm -hmm. a bit bouncy. AST have helped me out mm -hmm. uh, got some new springs on the car. So hopefully testing them today and a bit more damper setup. Yeah, no, fair enough. I mean, to be honest, we're not running crazy power, which you don't really need to. No, you do don't you, really? at all. So our philosophy with the team is get the weight out of the car mm. and keep the power standard. So yeah. it's running 355 brake horsepower. Mm -hmm. So for what these are, it's yeah. not through the roof. It doesn't need to be. Um, you get too much power and I think you have a few issues with the car, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, no, um, that's true. Obviously the internet might shout at me for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, standard 355 brake horsepower. Yeah. It's got an upgraded cooling system on it. Mm -hmm. uh, oil coolers, water coolers, intercooler, yeah. charge pipes, you know, the generic. Yeah. 
just everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you say everything, pretty much everything. But yeah, it's got kill switches, yeah. fire suppression system, very nice carbon piece. It is from an F82 M4, mm -hmm. um, and that's into the top mounts, into the chassis, and into the airframes. Yeah. So it, it, everything that comes from the F80, I, I put onto it nice. for for bracing. Yeah. Um, We've got a few plans over the coming winter for the subframes and a few other bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have to see how that comes along. Well, it's one of those cars which you're just constantly evolving though, isn't it? Yeah, as you, <laughs> as you know, Luke, like, yeah. once, you, once you weld in a cage, that's it. It's kind of... Absolutely. You're stuck at that point. Yeah. And you just keep evolving the car, which is... <laughs> that's it. Moving around though, we've got some Pro Tracks on yeah, the car. Yeah, Pro Tracks uh, with AO52s mm -hmm. on. Uh, so I ran Derez's last year. Yep. Uh, and I thought I'd give the AO52 to try from what we learned with the team, mm -hmm. whereas Derez's are a really good tyre. They're not quite as fast, but they're a lot better wearing. Yeah. AO52s, they are the faster tyre, they wear quicker, mm. but in conditions like this, or yeah. wetter, they're a lot grippier. Mm. Uh, so I thought I'd give them a try. They're a little bit cheaper. Friend over at Spectrum Motorsport, Mr. Joe Bauer, um, basically gave me a nudge and went, I'll sort you out. And yeah. I was like, thanks very much. Here's my credit card details. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, the brand new tyres on for this season. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the obligatory Malk Buck yeah. and Anchors. Um, I think pretty Absolutely. much everyone who's anyone on track knows <laughs> APs. Yeah. Especially that really. setup is, is the way That's to it. go in terms of exactly. consumables and your outright performance. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think it's probably time we have a little look inside because as we said obviously full roll cage in the car is it welding cage isn't it yeah full yeah, welding cage, welding cage. Um, after the roll cage it went off to german auto works it had a full wiring loom stripped down mm -hmm. and they really helped like evolve the car i wanted to build it so it looked like a car out the factory mm. so it's still got all the m performance dash which is all genuine dry carbon stuff it's even got the likes of the M2 CS racing door cards on it. Yeah, which is um, very cool. So they've got all like the cuttings for the roll cage. Yes, yeah, so like over um, here, obviously, when the door's closed. Yeah, it, it's it just, really, I want really it to nice. be super clean. Mm. It's an Instagram car. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to say it. But it, it means business, though, doesn't it? It's just nice to have something where you, you know, pride and joy, and you really do look after it. Yeah, exactly. um, so obviously, in the back here, you've got your OMP black system, which is your fire suppression. Mm -hmm. um, I always get questions about that because it's a bit of an ominous bottle like yeah people, yeah oh you're running meth or this that and the other no mm. it's that, that's for the that's for the fire suppression yep. obviously oh, racing cool. but yeah as well as just safety of mind i mean exactly. anything can happen on track day it's just it's peace of mind for myself yeah and obviously lightweight battery lightweight battery a little light blocks that weighs absolutely right. nothing yeah uh, a couple of kilos it's all spl arms and then i've got an m performance diff which are mm -hmm. from factory a plated drexler differential okay. um, and that's been sent off to heisman differentials and that's been rebuilt new plates ramp angles mm -hmm. preload so mm -hmm. out the corners it just sticks like yeah. the amount of times i've gone a little bit too fast into a corner <laughs> and, the, and the diff saved me so many times really? I, yeah it's fantastic we'll hop in get some heat in the engine and hopefully fingers crossed get a session in fingers crossed yeah weather lifts yeah <laughs> Cheers, Luke. so you've been doing some tweaks on the suspension kind of softening up a little bit I yeah think. so obviously i changed the spring rates yeah um and now what i've done is i've basically just changed the compression on it okay um so hopefully because the rear end was slightly bouncy what that'll do is is it'll push the rear wheel into the ground a bit more yeah uh hopefully we'll clear some of this traffic yeah i get the tires switched on i mean we're not setting lap records today because it's no, still absolutely. quite greasy out so we need to get some heat back in the car yeah and then uh hopefully we can start pushing on a bit awesome GC3 RS ahead. <laughs> Feels quick for 350. Yeah, luckily the line's starting to somewhat appear now. Yeah. The other day with the soft with the part of springs what was happening under braking the wheels were bouncing on the rear oh, really yeah wow. and um, it made it super unstable on the rear yeah so as you break the rear end is like fishtailing wow. 130 mile an hour it's not it's um, what you call suboptimal 
every time I go out in a car with this brake setup is honestly you forget how good they are don't you <laughs> this car yeah when I'm on track unless it's super wet yeah. I'm always full traction off yeah National layout, as you can see. Oh, with the GP. I'm there for the truck, I may as well use it. <laughs> And I'll swap today all 52s. Yeah. And now when the track's a little bit greasy like this, and obviously it is starting to dry. Yeah. I definitely feel like there's a lot more grip there. Gotcha. And that's something we picked up on like the, this last year with the race team was. Yeah. In the mixed conditions, they're a slightly softer compound, so they, they do run a lot better in conditions like this. traction on yeah and the diff the way it locks up is super like I can predict how the car is going to react and want to try and kill me but I mean you've had a B58 this is an M55 an M55 will always trump that B58 for pure yeah. noise <laughs> I don't want to get black flagged again today. <laughs> The torque bias left and right, yeah. they're, they're just super reliable. There's a friggin' pheasant! Oh, yeah. <laughs> pheasant on the track. You can just have so much confidence in the brakes. See, first corner red gear is always a little bit tricky, especially when it's greasy. Today, I'll tell you that. Sorry? <laughs> no, that record's today. No. 
it's definitely very busy. Is you get to the corner so fast, yeah. you're on the brakes, you lose your speed, mm. and you, you're constantly over and over doing that. Yeah. So I've got it. I've got this personal issue where I know how good the brakes are. Yeah. And what I do is I leave it so late, yeah. and I'll anchor on and I scrub my speed. Yeah. Now what I'm trying to do is break a little bit earlier, but get set for the corner, which is a bit harder in your head to grasp because yeah. you're like, I should be breaking late. Oh, I'm an F1 driver. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Yeah. But no, you've got to be smooth as well. So like, exactly, it's yeah. a shame the track's not fully dry and the car can really switch on. But no idea on lap times. I'm not bothered either. It, yeah, it, yeah, that's it. But mate, thank you so much that's for, not a problem, for taking me out and great to finally meet you after, well, discussing doing this video for so many years. Oh no, it's been, <laughs> it feels like it's been forever. I know, I know. But, um, but yeah, that is it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come. Thank you.